Right now, the players are in center circle. It's tipped up, and it's grabbed by Melissa Zornick. So now you see Santa Barbara will start off with the ball. The Gauchos going from left to right in this half. They're wearing their road gold, or their home gold, excuse me, with the blue trim. As you see Irvine in their road blues and gold and white trim going from right to left. As Aname Jemmerigby tried to put up the first basket in this one, misses a three, but Watkins is there for the O-board and the putback. And now with 24 seconds have gone by in this game, the Gauchos take the early 2-0 lead. And here's Irvine with their first response. Suramoto puts up a tray, hits the back iron, and there's Nicole Nesbitt getting the long rebound. She goes flying up the right side, trips over her own dribble, kicks it out to Melissa Zornig. I'm not sure how she didn't travel there, but there is Kendra Morrison with the three, misses from the left corner, and it's rebounded by Anogamuho. So the reps were saying that Nicole Nesbitt was bobbling the ball, so she never really had possession after she tripped. That was their argument for the no call on the travel. So they'll swing it left. Irvine has the ball now. Camille Buckley up top. Looks to drive on Watkins. She puts it up near the right block, and she is fouled on the baseline. Watkins is going to be called for her first personal in this one. And as we mentioned throughout the pregame show, Camille Buckley knows how to get to the foul line. And as she does for the first time in this one, here she is to shoot two. Right now it's 2-0 UC Santa Barbara with the Gauchos on top with 18-54 excuse me, left in the first. So the first free throw is made by Buckley. Interesting fact about UC Irvine, they actually really depend. And I, I say they dominate from the foul line, also mean they depend on that performance from the foul line. As Buckley will make the second one, I'll tell you that's that in just a bit. As Nicole Nesbitt gets the inbounds pass from Claire Watkins, swings it left. There's Melissa Zornick. Zornick now up the left side, throws it over to Anami Jemmerigby up top. Jemmerigby out to the left side to Zornick again. Zornick gets that screen from Morrison, no shot. They feed it down low to Watkins, who tried to find Morrison on the baseline, but it's picked. There's Suramoto now with the ball in the backcourt. They go left to Anogamuho over at the left wing, and they slow it down up top back to Suramoto. Spinazzi gets it down low. They will find Camille Buckley, who gets underneath Claire Watkins for the layup. Now that is four points for the Anteaters and four points for Buckley as they take the 4-2 lead. So now they're seeing a lot of backcourt press here from UC Irvine. They must have seen the tape of the Gauchos in the last two minutes against Cal State Fullerton. But now here's Nicole Nesbitt. They're able to pass out of that one. Zornick over through the left side. Bounce pass will find Morrison now to Watkins. That's a left elbow jumper. Just rims out, and it's rebounded by Spinazzi. Two minutes have gone by in this one, and the Gauchos currently trail it 4-2. to two. Spinazzi over at the top of the arc will swing it left to Anogamuho. Anogamuho over to Suramoto, who's missed a three in this one already. Spinazzi will get it from the baseline. They'll find Buckley. Right elbow jumper. This one just a little bit to the right, and it's rebounded by Kendra Morrison. Nicole Nesbitt gets the ball over for the left side. Pulls up for two from the foul line. No good. Claire Watkins swats the rebound. And there's Moses Zornig to gather it back for UC Santa Barbara. Here's a fresh 30. Here's a three from Zornig, but it goes off the back iron. Rebounded by Spinazzi. UC Irvine there on the return. Suramoto looking to make some quick business here. But the Gauchos showed some good transition defense. But banking it off the glass was Spinazzi. The first tray tonight for UC Irvine. And it's now 7-2. to two. The big basket there for the Anteaters to go on top early. There's Aname Gemma Rigby dribbling out of a double team. And she'll find Nicole Nesbitt on the right side. Back it goes to Gemma Rigby up top. Nesbitt now with 15 seconds to shoot finds Kendra Morrison. They go left to Gemma Rigby. 16.50 left in this first half. And the Gauchos are down five. Now Nicole Nesbitt wide open look for three. Can't hit it. But there's Zornick for the board. She's on the baseline, will dribble out beyond the arc, gets a screen from Watkins. A tray is no good again. Gauchos start this one 0 for 3 from downtown as UC Irvine gets the rebound. Kelly Meggs, first time she's touched the ball in this game, will pass it to Suramoto up top. And Spinazzi, fresh off the three-pointer, will get it. They'll swing it right to Suramoto, back to Suramoto again off the pass from Meg. Suramoto on the drive, a high-flying layup, no good off the glass, and Kendra Morrison is there for the board. Nicole Nesbitt gets the ball in transition, goes right, fakes left, and is fouled on her way to the basket. I believe Camille Buckley is going to be called for that one as Nick is the first gaucho to go to the line to shoot two. Seven to two right now. You see Irvine is on top by five points with 16 minutes, 10 seconds left in the first half. So here's Nicole Nesbitt to shoot two at the line, as we said. 
So far this season, she's shooting at the free throw line at about a 79.5% clip, but she will miss that first free throw. Christine Brantz will come in for Kendra Morrison as the Gauchos opt to go a little bit smaller here. And right now in the key for UC Santa Barbara, Claire Watkins on the left side, Gemma Rigby on the right as Nesbiz making this free throw. She'll hit it. So now the Gauchos are going to be within four points. It's 7-3. to three. This one, a three-pointer put up by UC Irvine. Just going to be short off the lip of the rim. Nicole Nesbitt loses the dribble. That is an uncharacteristic thing that you will see out of Nicole Nesbitt any time this season. I believe it's the first time she's turned it over on herself. So just really just lost the ball. No other way to describe it. That's a turnover, and UC Irvine will pick up the ball as they hold a four-point lead. And now with it is Suramoto. They'll swing it out to the right side. Now Madison McKenna, who just subbed in, will pass right back to Suramoto, who knocks down a tray. That is two three-pointers now for UC Irvine as they take a 10-3 lead. They retake that seven-point lead they had earlier on. Now with 15 and a half minutes to go in the first half, the Gauchos have some early work to do here. And I made Gemma Rigby up top, sees Christine Brantz over on the left side. Some off-the-ball movement will move Gemma Rigby to the right wing. She passes it to Zornig, now the foul line, splits two defenders, lays it up off the glass for two. Good find by Gemma Rigby to see that Zornig had a lane, and she took it right through the heart of the paint. Now it's 10-5. to five. Gauchos trail it by five. Low bounce pass. We'll kick it out to Suramoto, but there's going to be a backcourt violation as they pass from Jasmine Bernard down low, intended to find Suramoto at the top of the arc for what would have been an open game high. Four points for UC Irvine. The Gauchos for UC Irvine. The Gauchos will get the ball to bring us back into game action as Gemma Rigby will pass it to the right side to Nicole Nesbitt. Back up top, it goes to Gemma Rigby. They go left to Christine Brantz now. Gemma Rigby through the right side, on the drive, high glass, good for the layup. 10-7, and the Gauchos are now within one possession of UC Irvine. As McKenney will pass it to the right side, she'll get it back at the top of the arch. She'll run the point here. This one, a long three. This is a WNBA length three from Kelly Beggs, but that one will miss a little bit short as Nicole Nesbitt will get the ball here on the rebound. A no-look dish to Mel Zornig, and she will make Irvine pay with an open jumper from the foul line. Now 10-9. to Gauchos within one point here with 14 minutes, 25 left in the first half. Megs in deep three-point range now again. She'll pass it right. This is a tray from Vanessa Aguilar. Knocks it home from the right corner. 13-9. to And UC Irvine will push UC Santa Barbara back just by a little bit after that basket. So now here are the Gauchos with Christine Brantz at the left wing. Right it goes to Gemma Rigby. Back it goes to Nicole Nesbitt at the right corner. Gemma Rigby on the pass. Over to Nesbitt again, a three. This one rattles out, and Camille Buckley was there on the rebound. Madison McKenney in transition. Bounces it right to Megs, back to McKenney it goes, and Camille Buckley gets it at the top of the arc. Aguilar from the left wing, fresh off a three-pointer, feeds it down low, over to Camille Buckley, can't finish on that layup, she was in a tight angle, good job by Claire Watkins to force her underneath the basket, which is very uncomfortable for any player, but there is Nicole Nesbitt with the good old-fashioned finger roll after splitting two defenders. It teased everyone here in the Thunderdome of whether or not it was going to fall, but eventually it did. That three rattles out for UC Irvine. Right now they only lead at 13-11 as Melissa Zorni gets that defensive board. 13-15 left in the first half. The Gouch is down two. Swing it right to Nicole Nesbitt. Nesbitt sees a pick from Claire Watkins, won't take it. Fakes right, goes left. Sees Brantz now to Gemma Rigby at the left corner. Gemma Rigby bounces out of it, and now here's Christine Brantz on the drive. Eurostep puts it up, and she was fouled by Madison McKenney. And sometimes you're absolutely just going for the contact rather than a good look, as Christine Brantz was not given a good look at all on that particular drive. She was forced away from the paint as she was driving up the right side, but she was able just to get enough contact to earn a trip to the free throw line. So here is the Latvian native over at the foul line to shoot two. Makes the first one. France shooting at an 83% clip from the foul line. She is now 21 to 25 on the season. Claire Watkins will earn her first break in this one, as coming in for her will be Mikkel Wright. Mikkel Wright is your de facto. Or I mean, she is a she is a forward for UC Santa Barbara. At five foot eleven, a bit undersized, but she will be matching up against Camille Buckley here. Buckley, by the way, standing at six foot one. 
And as only one free throw is made, the Gauchos are within one. Camille Buckley on a turnaround jumper in the paint. That is good over the hands of Mikkel Wright. And now it is 15 to 12 Anteaters. 12 and a half minutes to go here in the first half as Moses Zorni pump fakes. Over from the right wing, loses the dribble and it's picked up by Suramoto. Another self-induced wound on that one for UC Santa Barbara as Spinazzi will get the ball up at the top of the arc. They go right to Suramoto who misses on the pass to Camille Buckley. Good job by Mikkel Wright to force that pass to go long. She's giving Suramoto a very small window and it was a window that the ball just cannot fit through on that particular instance. So Christine Brantz will sub out. Kendra Morrison will come in. So the Gauchos now will have two post players on the floor. That's Mikkel Wright and Kendra Morrison to join the guards. That's Zornig, Nicole Nesbitt, and Aname Jemmerigby. Mikkel Wright from the right side brings it up to the top to Nicole Nesbitt. And that is a bit of miscommunication as Aname Jemmerigby went cutting through the lane as Nicole Nesbitt intended to pass it back to her at the top of the arc. So that's another turnover that the Gauchos just simply give up. Mental mistakes here tonight. 15 to 12. The Gauchos trail it by three with 12 minutes left in the first. To their credit, the Gauchos have been playing good enough on defense to make this a one possession game despite the really head scratching turnovers. McKenney for a tray. This is off the back iron. Spinazzi there for the board. McKenney back up top. There's Suramoto with the ball right now. They'll swing it back left with a fresh shot clock. Suramoto looking for the pass. She'll swing it out right. Onogamuho finds Camille Buckley at the right elbow. She punks left, spins around, puts this one up for two. Can't get that one to fall, but Onogamuho's there for the rebound. No putback, and Gemma Rigby gets the board. Gemma Rigby finds Nicole Nesbitt on the left side. Fakes the pass. Now she'll bounce it over to Gemma Rigby. They'll find Kendra Morrison at the right corner, and she'll lob it up to Zornick with 18 seconds to shoot. Nicole Nesbitt. Pump fakes, has the ball, still looking to cut, but she'll find Gemma Rigby. This is a three from the top of the arc, misses off the lip of the rim as Mikkel Wright nearly got the offensive board, but her left foot was just on the baseline, so she was out of bounds. That's a turnover for UC Santa Barbara, who currently trail 15, who currently trail 15 to 12. This is seeing themselves from the Highlanders, and the Highlanders just picked up a big win against UC Santa Barbara last week. So it'll be a very interesting storyline through the remainder of the regular season. Anogamuho misses on the mid-range jumper. And as we return from action, Jasmine Ware just subbed into the game. She is back in uniform for UC Santa Barbara. She didn't play on Saturday night as Camille Buckley is able to get that layup to go off uh, Mikkel Wright. That was a hard move to the basket there from Buckley, but it will count for two. Gauss is now trailed 17-12. And Jasmine Ware making her first appearance, as I said, also wearing a mask. Very similar to what LeBron James is wearing starting tonight as he broke a nose. Aname Jemmerigby knocks down a jumper from the right elbow, makes it a three-point game. And Jasmine Ware, who suffered an injury against Long Beach State two weeks ago, is finally back with a fitted mask of her own. So we'll see what she could do there. We know the Gauchos have missed her spark and her big playability off the bench and, frankly, what she brings to the rebound game as well. Right now the Gauchos down 17-14, 10 minutes left in the first half. McKenney with a three, knocks that one home with a hand right in her face. That was Mikkel Wright guarding on the perimeter, really wasn't giving her any room to breathe, but it's just enough for her to get the shot off. 20-14 to 14 now, the Gauchos are down six. Melissa Zornick from the left side, kicks it back up top to Aname Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby with it now. Playing a little bit of ISO, she's over from the right side. They'll swing it left to Melissa Zornick. Finds Kendra Morrison over on the left corner. Morrison looking for the bounce pass. She'll find Mikkel Wright. Five seconds to shoot. Zornick pump fakes. Now drives. Pulls up. Kicks it out for three. This one comes home at the buzzer. Kendra Morrison on the touch. Puts the Gauchos within four. 20 to 16. Beautiful find by Melissa Zornick. Knowing that Morrison was camping on that left corner the entire time. So now with nine minutes, ten seconds to go in the first. Gauchos within four. Spinazzi with a wide open look for three. It rims out as Mikkel Wright fights for the rebound. And it is going to be Methlin Anogamujo whistled on that play. Not sure if that's going to be a foul or not. UC Santa Barbara will have the ball on this one as they will pass in. There's going to be a three-player substitution as Claire Watkins will re-enter the game. Melissa Maragnus is back in as well as... Nicole Nesbitt. The two remaining for the Gauchos are Jasmine Ware and Melissa Zornig. Gauchos up top. They have Nicole Nesbitt handling the ball. She's running the point on this offensive take. 
blocked as aware. We'll feed it to Claire Watkins. She'll find Zornick on a cross-court pass. Hits the three. There from the left corner, Melissa Zornick puts her team within one. That's back-to-back downtown shots for UC Santa Barbara as they look to take the first lead of this game since the early goings of this one. Suramoto with the response has this three-pointer rattle out and Jazz Ware gets her first rebound of the game. Zornick now in transition as Megs was there on defense. They pass it to Claire Watkins. Can't hit the mid-range shot, but there's Maragnus for the offensive rebound. Nicole Nesbitt will get the ball at the top of the arc to restart the offense. You got a fresh shot clock here, so you can slow things down. You're only down one. Here is Nicole Nesbitt. Fires off a long two from the left wing and makes the Ant Aiders pay for it. 21-20. to Gauchos retake the lead with a one-point advantage with eight minutes left. Suramoto from the right side. Feeds it to Spinazzi, who loses it. She's stripped by Nicole Nesbitt as Watkins picks up the loose ball. In transition, there's Zornig. Bounce pass goes to Jasmine Ware, who travels on an up and down. She got the pass. But no, they're not going to call that. They're going to call a foul on Spinazzi, saying that that forced Jasmine Ware into the, the entire game has been Camille Buckley. So now Jasmine Ware over at the foul line to shoot two. She'll sink the first one, gives the Gauchos a two-point lead, gets some high fives from Claire Watkins. Melissa Maragnus over on the left end of the key. as Nicole Nesbitt and Melissa Zornig at midcourt discussing them, some things. And Jazz Aware goes a perfect two for two from the charity strike. 23 to 20. The Gauchos have now taken a three-point lead. It's a game high for them. Seven minutes, 40 seconds left to play in the first. As Suramoto fakes left, goes right. They pass it to the left side. And Suramoto up will find Kelly Meg. So feed down low to Camille Buckley, who's in a double team. She'll pass out of it. Jazz Aware trying to get the steal on the cross-court pass. And said foul Suramoto on that one. So that is going to be a third team foul, second team foul, rather, for UC Santa Barbara. UC Irvine so far has three. So neither are really in danger of putting the other team into the bonus as of yet. So with a fresh shot clock, Suramoto will get it up top. She drives, kicks it out to Megs. Megs from the right side, still has it. Thought about the three, decided not to. Now they'll find Spinazzi to Aguilar to left wing. Spinazzi will get it. They're playing catch along the arc. And now this shot from the left corner will fall from Aguilar. Jasmine Ware laid off her for just a moment, but that's all she needed to hit that three-pointer. We're tied at 23. As Destiny Mason looks to make her first appearance in this game. As Nicole Nesbitt will pass it left to Melissa Maragnus. 18 seconds to shoot for the Gauchos. 6.50 to play in the first. Tie ball game as Melissa Zornig at the left wing gets it. She has seven points so far for Santa Barbara. She'll find Watkins. Now they'll go to Ware. That's a baseline jumper that falls short as Suramuto is there for the rebound. She nearly loses the ball at midcourt, able to gather it back on her own dribble as Spinazzi gets at the top of the arc. Bounce pass intended for Camille Buckley is kicked away by Claire Watkins. That'll put us at a dead ball point where Aname Demarabi and Destiny Mason will both be coming in for UC Santa Barbara. Melissa Zornig will see the bench for right now, as will Melissa Maragnus. So now on the floor for UC Santa Barbara, along with Gemma Rigby and Mason, are Nicole Nesbitt, Jazz Ware, and Claire Watkins. Suramoto pulls up for three. This one rattles out. That one, an unforgiving touch there for Irvine as Jazz and Ware gets the rebound. Destiny Mason will kick it out. This is Nicole Nesbitt for a long two. Hits the back iron, and Gemma Rigby's there for the rebound. Gemma Rigby will... Step out there as Suramoto falls to the hardwood, but no whistle was blown there. They'll pass it to Nicole Nesbitt, who tries another long-range shot for two. Makes that one fall from the left wing. 25-23 now. The Gauchos on top. Five minutes, 56 seconds left as UC Irvine will bring the ball to the floor again with Suramoto. Suramoto being guarded by Gemma Rigby. The Gauchos see Spinazzi get blocked by Claire Watkins on the drive. Gemma Rigby gets a pass from Swatkins, and Destiny Mason will find Watkins at the foul line. They'll go out to the right wing. They feed it down low to Destiny Mason. Beautiful drive, beautiful kick out from Nesbitt to Mason, and the Gauchos take a four-point lead. 27-23, to 23, the Gauchos get their highest lead of this game now. Suramoto and Irvine looking for a response with 5.15 left in the first. Camille Buckley kicks it out to Spinazzi, and she'll get it right back on the jumper. That one well short. Barely hits the backboard. Claire Watkins gets the rebound 
as Gemma Rigby looks to complete the drive. No, she will hold up from the right wing. Two defenders are there, ready for that one. Nicole Nesbitt up top, swings it back right to Gemma Rigby. Not getting that same look as she'll get a pick from Mason. A pass goes to Nesbitt again. Mason gets it, finds Jazz aware on the baseline. Back to Mason it goes as she was fouled on her pass attempt intended for Claire Watkins down low. Now she did find Watkins. It may have been a reverse layup look for the Gaucho Big simply because of where she was seated underneath the basket. But as it is right now, they're going to call that a shot attempt for Destiny Mason. So here she is to shoot two from the foul line for Santa Barbara. She'll hit the first one. The Gauchos now on top 20 to 23 as Melissa Zornig will come in for Jasmine Ware, who will for right now strip off the mask. Jasmine Ware hit the hardwood a little bit earlier on before tip-off. She was here about two hours before the game started. I believe she was the only gaucho in the gym at the time, and she was just taking practice shots with the mask on just to get used to it. And so far, she's looking pretty comfortable with it, able to do some things off the ball for UC Santa Barbara. Mason, by the way, made those two free throws. Reverse layup, no good for UC Irvine. Claire Watkins able to gobble up that rebound after the second effort misses. Right now, Gaucho's on top, 29-23. Destiny Mason on the cross-court pass finds Zornig with 420 left. Back to Mason on the baseline. This one short on the jumper. And Camille Buckley is there on the rebound. Suramoto goes flying up the right side. They'll find McKenney. McKenney, who likes to shoot the three, will go ahead and feed it down low, and that jumper will miss short. Melissa Zornig on the rebound with two defenders in front of her. Goes to the left side was trying to find Nicole Nesbitt on the pass, but instead she could not handle the pass as it goes out of bounds. And the season opener for both teams, so the Gauchos just had to scrap that one, and their official, official opener was against Cal State Bakersfield, which, by the way, the Gauchos won. So now the Gauchos here for women's basketball up 29-23, make that 29-26. Another three-pointer for Aguilar. Aguilar from the left wing. She's been looking hot from that left side all night long. Has now gone three of four from downtown. So she is definitely a shooter for UC Irvine in this one. Destiny Mason from the left wing finds Claire Watkins. Kendra Morrison from the left corner gets it with three and a half minutes to go. Destiny Mason, beautiful dribble move behind the back to free up space for the shot, but misses. Goes wide right as Aguilar is there on the board. Gaucho's on top for right now, 29-26. This one has been close from start to what will be the finish of the first half. Three minutes, 10 seconds left. Bounce pass goes to McKenney as she will misfire on that bounce pass intended for Buckley, and Watkins will come up with the steal. Melissa Zornick from the left side. Back up top to Gemma Rigby. Gets that nice screen there from Claire Watkins, but can't make that layup go. It literally traveled around the lip of the rim before it fell off. And this is a three in transition from Aguilar, but she can't get that one to drop. Has a heat check there for her. She is now gone. Three of five from downtown. The Gauchos with 2.35 left in the first. Currently on top, 29-26. Gemma Rigby at the top of the arc. Goes right, passes left to Destiny Mason. No look dish will go to Zornig. As a bounce pass will find Kendra Morrison. Beautiful ball movement will find Watkins. Now to Morrison for three. Hits another one. That is three-pointer number two for the sophomore as she puts her team on top, 32-26. to 26. Two minutes, 10 seconds remaining in the first. Suramoto and the Anteaters looking to respond, maybe with another three, but no, they'll feed it down low to Camille Buckley, who's just able to get underneath Claire Watkins. Not an easy shot by any means, but Buckley was able to lay up that one. Like I said, she is one of the leading candidates for the Big West Player of the Year honors this year. A double-double monster for the Anteater, 17 and 11, as she so far has put the team within four. She has 10 points against the Gauchos tonight. Here's Zornig, this one up for three. This one is just short as Claire Watkins swats this one. Maybe should have gotten the rebound instead. A long pass in transition will find Suramoto. They'll find Aguilar and Camille Buckley spinning through the lane. Hits Aname Gemma Rigby on the way through, and Gemma Rigby will pick up the charge. That is going to be the second personal against Buckley and the fifth team foul against UC Irvine. Beautiful job from the Gaucho freshman, especially when you're in transition defense, to have your feet set in that scenario. 
The Gatchos will pick up the ball after that turnover as Jasmine Ware will re-enter the game for UCSB. Nicole Nesbitt will bring the ball at the floor. A minute 20 left. Gatchos on top, 32-28. to They'll swing it left to Melissa Zornick. Baseline pass will find Destiny Mason. Finds Claire Watkins in the paint. Uses some glass layup. No good. Too much muscle on that touch as Suramoto and the Anteaters collect the board. One minute left. As Bernard on the drive is stripped by Melissa Zornig. And Zornig thought that the second effort from Bernard to get the ball back on her drive was the one that touched it out of bounds. But the refs are going to disagree as Zornig will officially go down as the one who tipped it out of bounds on the steal attempt. So the inbounds pass from the baseline will be good to Suramoto. Lobbed up at the top of the arc as McKenney will get it from the foul line. Pass finds Aguilar. She'll pull up for two. Nothing but net. Beautiful shot there from Aguilar all night long. That's her first two-pointer in this one as she has just the left side to the right side of the floor with, I believe, 11 points. We'll fact check that one. But as for right now, the Gauchos are on top 32-30 to 30 with 44 seconds ticking away. The cold Nesbitt from the right side passes left up top. It's Jasmine Ware. Ware will find Melissa Zornick. Zornick back to Ware at the right wing as Claire Watkins was getting set up near the right block, but no passes thrown her way. 12 seconds to shoot now. Zornick gets a screen. Bounce pass finds Nicole Nesbitt. She penetrates, pulls up, kicks it out to Zornick. Five seconds to shoot. Here is Ware for three. This one just grazes the front of the net as that one was going to go out of bounds, but Spinazzi, who's trying to get the loose ball, stepped out of bounds in doing so. So the Gauchos will retain possession with two seconds to shoot. The shot clock was not reset because Ware did not hit it on her three-point look. So here's Nicole Nesbitt on the baseline looking to pass this in. 19.4 seconds left, two seconds on the shot clock. That one misses from Claire Watkins, but Gemma Rigby on the offensive board and the putback. Woo! Big, big play there from the smallest person on the floor. Claire Watkins getting that. And now the Gauchos will be looking to make sure. And now the Gauchos will be looking to make sure that Gemma Rigby's basket was the last one of this half. Eight seconds now left as this cross-court pass intended for Suramoto. She is fouled again by Jasmine Ware. That is going to be personal foul number two against the sophomore. Gambled a little bit too much on that look. I'll stop the clock at 6.9 seconds. Shout out to all my Isla Vista listeners out there. Suramoto now in the backcourt. Gets at the top of the arc. Finds Spinazzi. That was a swing it out left. One second to shoot. The shot is up, and it's through the basket. And that was in time. So the Gauchos now have a two-point lead. Go- Long Rangers, 6 of 16. And it's odd because you look at UC Irvine on pointers heading into tonight's matchup. And the Gauchos are eighth in that category heading into this one with 164 attempts. So now UC Irvine will bring us back into action here. They're down two. Camille Buckley guarded by... Claire Watkins will pull back for two. A lot of muscle on that one. Sends that one sailing over the hoop as it's rebounded by Kendra Morrison. Morrison now will find Nicole Nesbitt from the right side. Fires from three, and it goes off the lip of the rim. Rebounded by Claire Watkins, who loses it on the dribble. Suramoto will find Meigs on the drive. Loses handles with that one. Could have had a layup, but instead will have to kick it out. Good job by Nicole Nesbitt of being there on defense in transition. 30 seconds have gone by here in the second half. Suramoto puts this one up for two with a hand in her face. Was disrupted by that one as it rims out. And you see Santa Barbara will get the ball. They fake right. Go left with Gemma Rigby. Melissa Zornick will get at the left wing. Gets that pick from Claire Watkins. Drives. Finds Gemma Rigby. Up for three. This one can't be knocked home. But there is Morrison on the putback. Nope. Claire Watkins gets second offensive rebound. And she is fouled for the third effort. Kendra Morrison. Had a wide open look underneath the basket. Just couldn't bury that one. But she has been pretty good from long range. So she officially made one of one three-pointers in the first half. I mistakenly thought she did two of two. But the second one, her foot, I guess, was on the line. So she finished with five points in the first, going two of three. As for Claire Watkins, she finished the first with two points and five rebounds. This is her first visit to the charity stripe. As the first one is up and good. She has a bit of a rocking motion when she gets to the foul line. It's almost like her shot starts at her ankles as she kind of ropes her way around as she releases it with her right hand. 
and she misses the second free throw, but Anoga Muho, who had an easy look for the defensive board, accidentally tips it out of bounds. So you see Santa Barbara will get the ball after that turnover. So 35-32, Gaucho's on top by three. Nicole Nesbitt on the baseline will lob it up to Kendra Morrison at midcourt to get this one in. 18.50 left here in the game. The Gauchos up by three. Melissa Zornick finds Gemma Rigby on the drive. Layup up and in. Gets right past Benazi. And the fastest player on the floor showed exactly what she could do with an open lane. You see Santa Barbara there almost picking up yet another turnover as Anogamuho was trying to find Suramoto. But Megs was there to get the loose ball. Megs puts this one up for three, uses the back iron to hammer this one home. And the Gauchos lead is now down to two points, 37-35. That was from the left wing from Megs. Claire Watkins nearly gets that pass from Nicole Nesbitt, but it slipped right through her hands as Anogamuho gets a steal. An errant pass intended for Spinazzi, who tipped that one over to Kelly Megs. It would have been a three-pointer, but they are calling a foul on Spinazzi in transition after mishandling the ball. And frankly, she, she never had the ball. The pass was almost like a street ball look where it was passed off her back. And once she realized the ball was loose on the floor, she just tipped it over to Megs. And in doing so, she hit a gaucho at midcourt. And that was enough for the refs to blow the whistle. But Doug, Doug Oliver and the rest of his coaching staff really livid by some of the inconsistent calls that we've been seeing in this game. Now that one, I'm not sure if I would argue that one. This is Zornick from the left side. Gaucho's up two as she puts this one up for two on the baseline runner. It was tipped out of bounds on her release. 17 minutes, 55 seconds left in this one as Kendra Morrison from the baseline and the Gauchos have 16 seconds to shoot. They'll find Claire Watkins at the right corner and they'll swing it up top to Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby on the drive. Kicks it out to Nicole Nesbitt. Megs there on defense. Zornick now finds Watkins. Now they'll look left to Kendra Morrison. Back it goes to Nesbitt. Pulls up for two. Nothing but net. 39-35, the Gauchos take a four-point lead with 17-35 to go in the game. Jennifer Suramoto, who got the buzzer beater to send us into halftime last half, gets the ball to the floor, finds an Ogabuho. An Ogabuho from the right wing will lob it up to Kelly Meggs, who likes the fire from deep range, and I'm talking deep. But there she is, finding Anoga Muho, who misses on the layup, but she'll get that bounce pass from Camille Buckley after getting the board, but they'll miss on the second effort. Claire Watkins gets the rebound. Nicole Nesbitt now with the ball. Fakes right, goes left, up for two, gets the roll. Was a harassed by Camille Buckley down low. No whistle that time. No foul needed, really. And Nicole Nesbitt just had enough of a touch to get that one through. 41-35. Gauchos up six with 16.50 to go. Suramuto tried to split two defenders as Aname Jemarigby is going to be called for the foul. That is going to be called a shot attempt, I believe. Nope. They're going to change this up, and Anogabuho will be passing this in from the baseline. Christine Brantz will come in for Kendra Morrison. Same substitute that we saw in the first half. Camille Buckley, after getting the inbounds pass, is fouled on her jump shot look. That is going to be against Christine Brantz. That is her first personal in this game. The Gauchos have tallied up two team fouls in this half, identical to UC Irvine's two. Camille Buckley with her second trip to the foul line. It's the second trip in general for UC Irvine. She made two of two on her first look, but she'll miss the first one here. 41 to 35 is the score as Doug Oliver taps in his reserves. Vanessa Aguilar and Madison McKinney will both be subbed in, but there's Buckley missing that free throw, so they'll have to wait for now. 41-35, to 35. Gauchos on top by six with 16 and a half minutes left to play in the Thunderdome. Nicole Nesbitt on offense, gets that pick from Claire Watkins, had a chance for a shot, but instead they'll swing it out right. There's Christine Brands from the right corner. Watkins will find Nicole Nesbitt on the cross-court pass. She'll pull up for two, nothing but net on the fader. From about seven feet out, she made it look a lot fancier than it maybe, maybe could have been, but still, another highlight real shot from Nicole Nesbitt in the second half. The Gauchos on top by eight points. It's 43 to 35. A curl pass. Fed down low to Bernard, and she finishes on the layup. Good job by Anogamuho to get the low feed. So now Nicole Nesbitt will have the ball up the right side. They'll swing it out left to Christine Brantz. Brantz works her way to the foul line as Nicole Nesbitt will get the pass from the right sideline. 
Demarigby drives, kicks out to Zornig, comes straight away, knocks down the tray. 46 to 37, and the Gauchos have taken a game high nine point lead. Anogo Muho, high glass shot, nope. And there's Camille Buckley on the second effort, and she is fouled for the second time in this half. Third overall, as she will go to the foul line to shoot two. She went 0 for 2 last time she was there. Just a minute on top by nine. Buckley to take two from the foul line right here. She makes the first one. The Gauchos on the floor right now. Christine Brantz and Kendra Morrison on the right side of the key. Melissa Zornig and Claire Watkins on the left. As in the backcourt, there's Aname Gemma Rigby. Next foul shot up and in. And now it's 46 to 39. The Gauchos lead now to seven points with 15 minutes, 25 seconds to go. Kendra Morrison from the right side, swings it up top to Aname Gemma Rigby. Low bounce pass will find Christine Brantz. Gemma Rigby takes a screen from Melissa Zornig, but she is going to be called for the carry on the drive. The layup was good, but the Eater stopped playing defense after the whistle was blown, was, which was well before the layup look. So Gemma Rigby will turn the ball over after that call. Christine Brantz will be subbed out as Nicole Nesbitt will come back in for UC Santa Barbara. Again, UC Irvine trailing by seven points with 15 minutes, 13 seconds left. Aguilar down low, pulls up for two, hits back iron, rebounded by Camille Buckley. He'll get it back over beyond the arc. McKinney for three, short, hits the front of the rim and is rebounded by Aname Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby with her sixth board in this one. That pass was tipped out of bounds by McKinney. Heads up move by Natalie Jarrett, assistant coach for UC Santa Barbara to get her hands up and the clipboard up in time to save herself. 14 minutes, 55 seconds to go in this game. The Gauchos up seven. Bounce pass will find Kendra Morrison. Cross court pass will find Melissa Zornick, who doesn't take the three. We'll swing it out right to Nicole Nesbitt with 12 seconds to shoot. Back to Gemma Rigby. Up for three. Splash down. Gauchos go back on top. 48 to 39. That's a nine-point lead for them. As that was a long two put up by the Gaucho freshman. 14 and a half minutes to go. In this game, as Aguilar will feed it down low to Bernard. Bernardo faces up, turns around, uses some glass for two. Good shot from Jasmine Bernard. That's her first basket of this game, of this half. Now the screen set up by Claire Watkins, freed up Nicole Nesbitt, and said she went left and missed on that one. Vanessa Aguilar on the rebound, being guarded closely by Gemma Rigby in transition. The swing it out left again. Aguilar not getting any space from long range. And she'll pass it to Camille Buckley. Back it goes to Bernard. Now Buckley gets at the right block. Claire Watkins all over her on defense as McKenney will kick it out. Bernard with the left elbow shot. Bank shot as that one is cashed in for the Anteaters. 48 to 43. And now the Gauchos have a five-point lead as Jasmine Ware will look to make her first appearance in the second half. 13 and a half minutes to go in the Thunderdome. Nicole Nesbitt has the ball up top. Looks to drive, kicks out left. Now it's Gemma Rigby. Fake the jump shot on the drive, runs baseline, and she's going to be called for the offensive charge against Camille Buckley, it looks like. Buckley is on the floor right now, slow to get up. Gemma Rigby had a clear open lane through the left side. So now they're going to reverse the call, and now it's going to be a foul against... Camille Buckley, which will send Aname Gemma Rigby to the line to shoot two. My goodness, that was as long of a delayed call as I have ever seen. Maybe a good 30 seconds have gone by before the refs just changed their mind. Whatever works, Gatchels will surely take it as Gemma Rigby from the foul line will shoot two. 48 to 43, Gatchels on top by five. 13 minutes, 27 seconds to go as Gemma Rigby misses the first free throw shot. And we know Irvine really is, <laughs> as I said in the first half, having none of these calls on the floor right now. Gemma Rigby is good on her second look from the charity stripe. It's a six point game, Gouch is on top, but 13-25 ticking away. Jennifer Suramoto will find Camille Buckley at the left elbow. He's being guarded by Mikkel Wright, who just checked in. There's Suramoto this time with a look from three. No good. Bernard on the putback is good after the power dribble. Off the glass again. Bernard has accounted for the past six points there for the Anteaters as they are within four. 49-45. to 45. Gaucho still on top as Nicole Nesbitt has it over on the top of the arc. Doesn't where we'll get it from 
Gemma Rigby. They'll swing it out left to Nicole Nesbitt. Nesbitt sees Zornig over to the screen. She goes out right. Pass goes to Jasmine Ware on the baseline. Six seconds to shoot. Gemma Rigby up top. Back to Nesbitt. Over to Zornig. Pump fakes. Pulls up for two. No. Kicks it out to Nesbitt with the time expiring. And they're going to call a travel call anyway. So either way you sliced it, shot clock violation or travel, it was going to be UC Irvine ball. Now is anticipating the shot from Melissa Zornig. Momentarily had a look, and she knew that the seconds were very thin at that point in the possession. And right now the Gauchos will have Jasmine Ware and Nicole Nesbitt sub out. And coming in for them will be Kendra Morrison and Destiny Mason. McKenney from the right side passes it up top to Buckley. A pass right to Suramoto with 12 and a half minutes to go, Thunderdome. But she's in a trap, passes out of it, over to McKenney, up for three. Nearly is wedged between the rim and the backboard, but it just drops into the hands of Kendra Morrison. Melissa Zorning now in transition, takes it out to Gemma Rigby at the top of the key. They swing it left with 12-10 remaining in this game. There's Zorning, pulls up for two at the left elbow, misses off the right side as Bernard is there for the board. Suramoto will find Aguilar. Cross-court pass finds Suramoto. Big body finds Camille Buckley down low as she gets her first and one of the game against Kendra Morrison. Buckley's third trip to the foul line in this half, fourth overall. And this time she'll be looking to complete the three-point play. It's players in double figures. That's Nicole Nesbitt with 13, Aname Jemarigby with 11, and Melissa Zorning with 10. The free throw was... Good for Buckley, who now has a game-high 15. With 49-48 reading the scoreboard, Gauchos holding on to that one-point advantage. 11.45 left in this game. There's Destiny Mason, who just subbed in, along with Claire Watkins, who gets that pass. Puts this one up for two. Ka-ching! Bank shot is good from the foul line for Claire Watkins. And the Gauchos go up by three points, 51-48. to 48. 11 and a half minutes to go here in the Thunderdome as Suramoto gets it at midcourt. Nicole Nesbitt there on defense. They'll pass left to McKenney. She has a trigger-happy hand over from three-point range, but so does Aguilar, who puts this one up for three. Doesn't get it. Jump ball is called. Bernard and Claire Watkins were both fighting for that one, and the possession arrow is pointing towards the Gaucho's way as they will be passing this one in with Kendra Morrison on the baseline. Gaucho's up by one possession, three points. It's 51-48 to 48 with 11-14 taking away. Nicole Nesbitt at the top of the arc has two screens, doesn't pick at either of them, and she'll pass it right to Destiny Mason. Mason on the bounce pass, gets it over to Kendra Morrison at the right corner. 15 seconds to shoot for UCSB. They'll swing it left to Melissa Zornig. Zornig now with the Claire Watkins at the left elbow. They'll just pass it to Morrison. Back to Watkins in the paint. Fakes right, goes left, turn around, hook shot. That is good for Claire Watkins. 53 to 48. The junior transfer has now scored the past four straight points for UC Santa Barbara. 10 40 remaining in this one. Suramoto near the left wing is guarded by Nicole Nesbitt as they feed Bernard down low. She's been hot in the second half. On that drive, no good. Buckley gets the offensive board, and she is fouled. More than likely, it's going to be called against Claire Watkins. There is a few gauchos in the vicinity, and it is going to be against Watkins that time. Jennifer Spinazzi will re-enter the game for UC Irvine after this first free throw is attempted by Buckley. Again, Buckley has been the only anteater to make it to the foul line tonight. She is now going to be attempting shots 8 and 9 from the foul line. She'll make the first one. Spinazzi will come in for Bernard. And Bernard in this second half. So far in this game, she has tallied up eight points with five rebounds. Pretty good numbers for her. The next foul shot hits the right of the rim, and Watkins is there for the defensive board. 53-49. to 49. The Gauchos up by four points with 10 minutes, 20 seconds remaining in this game. Zorna gets that screen. Freed up, and the bounce pass will find Destiny Mason at the right corner. Mason will find Kendra Morrison to swing it up top to Nicole Nesbitt on the drive up the left side off the glass and it's good for two but the refs are going to call it off as Nesbitt is going to be called for the charge Carlene Mitchell upset with that call she was pleading for the blocking call against UC Irvine but it's going to go the other way basket does not count the Gaucho lead is still at four but ten minutes now Camille Buckley kicks it out McKenney for three hits it home 53 to 52. 
a one-point ball game here in the T-Dome as Melissa Zornig gets that inbounds pass from Nicole Nesbitt. We'll feed it up the left side to Destiny Mason. Now to Kendra Morrison in transition layup. No good, but she gets her own offensive board. Can't get it that time as Claire Watkins will get the third effort and hits it home from five feet out. 55-52, and Claire Watkins has caught fire on offense. Nine minutes, 35. Just a little bit, though. She has collected two rebounds for UCSB and has also put up two points. So expect to see her probably later on in this one. That's right now the Gauchos retake the floor on defense. They're defending a 55-52 lead with 9.25 remaining. Camille Buckley gets that entry pass and finishes with a beautiful drive to the basket. Really just essentially box Claire Watkins out and push her away on the lane. So now it's a one-point game. You see Santa Barbara in transition, gets it to Nicole Nesbitt. Zornig over from the right wing, gets that screen from Kendra Morrison, nine minutes to go. Nicole Nesbitt from the left side, passes it left. 12 seconds to shoot. Mason finds Nesbitt, drives up the right side, pulls up for two, nets it home. And this time the basket will count. And Nesbitt will be on her way to the foul line to try a three-point play. Eight minutes, 55 seconds to go in this one. Beautiful drive there from Nesbitt. She drove up the right side and stepped back for the actual shot. They're going to say there was some contact shown by UC Irvine on that one. 57-54 is the score. Make that 58-54. Nicole Nesbitt puts her team up by four points. Eight minutes, 54 seconds remaining in this one. And the Gauchos do have that two-score advantage. Camille Buckley over from the left side. Will find Suramoto on the drive. This is a leaner that somehow finds its way through the hoop. That's really an NBA caliber shot there. A teardropper, as a lot of people would call it. And now the Gauchos in transition will get Nicole Nesbitt from the left side. Eight and a half minutes to go. 20 seconds to shoot for UCSB. Melissa Zornig right in front of Thunder Row. Skip pass will find Zornig now over to Mason on the jumper. No good from about 16 feet out. 58 to 56 is still the score as Irvine collects the defensive board. 8-10, taking away. Suramoto with the ball at midcourt. The Gouch is up 58-56. McKinney from the right wing, guarded closely by Melissa Zornig, and Doug Oliver will opt to use a timeout here. Session as Aguilar will pass this one in in their own half court. They'll find Suramoto, gets it over to Spinazzi, who nearly loses the ball off the touch from Nicole Nesbitt. They'll lob it down low to Camille Buckley, who will now kick it out to Suramoto. It was initially tipped by Gemma Rigby, so it's going to delay the pass, but it will find McKenney, who misses on the three from the left corner. Zornig's there on the defensive board. Zornig on the bounce pass will find Nicole Nesbitt, who is charging up to the rim. She's going to be called for a travel. Took just one too many steps that time. She did get the layup to fall, but obviously will not count as Carlene Mitchell will use a timeout just about 30 seconds after that timeout was used. So, oh no, there, there was some confusion. There was confusion on the floor, so the officials thought that they had needed another timeout for the media break, but they had already used it before when Doug Oliver called the TO just a few moments ago. So we'll resume action, and UC Santa Barbara is back on defense. They're defending a 58-56 lead with seven and a half minutes left. Suramoto fakes left, goes right on the drive. Another teardrop look will fall for her. Number 10 coming up with some pretty big athletic plays on the offensive end for UC Irvine. That inbounds pass was swatted away by Spinazzi as Claire Watkins was looking to find Melissa Zornick. Will not be a turnover. UCSB will be passing this in right in front of the UCI bench. And they'll find Kendra Morris in the backcourt. UC Irvine utilizing a full court press, but Gemma Rigby will just dribble her way out of that one. 20 seconds now to shoot as she makes her way across midcourt. Nicole Nesbitt fakes it left, and now there's Gemma Rigby for a long two, hits the back iron as McKenney is there for the rebound. Seven minutes ticking away here at the Thunderdome, and the Gauchos are now tied at 58 each. McKenney up top. They swing it out left to McKenney again. They feed Buckley who will kick it out to Aguilar, up for three, hits it home. Another big three-pointer, and that is her first of this second half after making three in the first. 61-58, to 58, and the Gauchos now trail for the first time in this second half. Nicole Nesbitt with the response, does not get the shooter's touch on the long two, and it's rebounded by UC Irvine. 
Suramoto in transition. Will peel off near the right wing, and Aguilar left open again. How does that happen? And you see Santa Barbara pays for it. Aguilar hits it again from the left wing as the Anteaters have taken a six-point lead. There's still six minutes, ten seconds left, and Aguilar has been the late-game hero for the Anteaters in this one. Kendra Morrison sets the pick for Gemma Rigby. Doesn't take it. The Gauchos really don't need a three-pointer here. They just need some kind of basket. As Gemma Rigby on her drive will be, will be yeah, she will pick up the foul against Suramoto there. That is the 15th foul call against you, Sierra Vine. The Gauchos have committed six. As Nicole Nesbitt and Kendra Morrison will step out, Jasmine Ware and Destiny Mason will come in. UCSB looking to pass this in with a fresh shot clock. Mason over on the baseline, lobs it up to Claire Watkins. Watkins uses some glass, no good. Just a little bit short on that take as Camille Buckley will get the defensive rebound. Five minutes, 45 seconds ticking away, and UC Irvine has taken a six-point lead thanks to a pair of trays from Aguilar here in this second half. Spinazzi from the left side. That one is picked by Destiny Mason. Mason now through the heart of the paint, kicks it out to Zornig, who knocks down the jumper, but they're going to call the basket off. So that's going to be a defensive foul against McKinney. And the basket didn't fall. It actually just rattled out. And UC Santa Barbara will now be passing this in from the baseline. And it's team foul number six for UC Irvine. The clock has stopped at 528. Kendra Morrison looking to check in for UCSB, and she'll come in for Claire Watkins. Fresh shot clock for the Gauchos, who currently trail at 64 to 58. Destiny Mason on the baseline, looks to lob this in and she'll find Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby from the right side, able to keep her dribble. Thought about passing and she eventually will to Zornig. Gets that pick from Kendra Morrison, who will fire a long two. And that is, no, that's gonna be a two. Yes, that is a two. Initially marked down as a three. They bring it back to a two. You gotta love the communication going on right now. 64 to 60, the Gauchos. Right now trailing by four points after a big basket from Morrison. McKenney over from the right wing. Dribbles into a trap. She'll find Spinazzi. Back to McKenney. They'll feed a down low to Buckley as a foul is going to be called against Kendra Morrison. That will send Buckley to the line to shoot a one and one. And the trend still continues of Camille Buckley being the only anteater to sniff the foul line in tonight's game. Nicole Nesbitt will come in for Name Gemma Rigby. The score right now is 64 to 60. With 454 remaining. McKenney will come out. Coming in for her will be Kelly Meggs. And remaining in this game is going to be Vanessa Aguilar, who has been red hot. Aguilar so far in this game with 17 points. As Camille Buckley will now have a point total of 19 after that made free throw. She'll earn the second. Puts her team up by five points. Next one is up and in. So they retake a six-point lead. It's 66 to 60 as Zornig will get the inbounds pass from Kendra Morrison. Destiny Mason at midcourt dribbles between two defenders. Looks to finish on the drive. No good on that layup. Look, she was moving from right to left, and that's why he missed left. So now you see Irvine will get the ball at the top of the arc. Spinazzi over to Suramoto up top. They'll feed it down low to Camille Buckley. And the cross-court pass will find Vanessa Aguilar. Steps up, back for three. This is rebounded by Buckley initially, but the ball slipped out of her hands, touched out of bounds by Nicole Nesbitt, who came in, crashing in on the board. Didn't pick it up that time, but it'll be a fresh shot clock for UC Irvine with Claire Watkins, Dazzle Ware coming in for Kendra Morrison and Destiny Mason. So now UC Santa Barbara really looking at some big rebounds here. They need stops. They're down six points, and time is not on their side. There's 420 left. Kelly Meg swings it out left. And now there's Aguilar on the drive. Hits it off the glass. And that is going to be an offensive charge officially called against Aguilar. Definitely leaning in on that one as she drew contact from one of the Gaucho defenders. And now UC Santa Barbara will have an opportunity to chip away at the six-point lead. 
Claire Watkins over on the right sideline will get the inbounds pass from Zornick. Nicole Nesbitt will get it. And now a handoff will find Aname Jemarigbi at midcourt. Four minutes remaining as Jemarigbi and the Gauchos looking for some big offensive possessions. Zornick from the left side. Not taking the three. Jemarigbi now on the drive. Off the pass. Able to lay it up for two. The Gauchos now within four points. But they'll need to string together a run. Defensive stops are key. Three minutes, 45 seconds left with a four-point lead in favor of UC Irvine. Aguilar pulls up for two. Can't get that one to hit. Espinazzi is able to save this one from going out of bounds, and Aguilar gets it at the right sideline. Just missed out-of-bounds territory. Got to love the hustle effort there from Spinazzi of gathering in that one. This will give him 15 seconds to shoot as Buckley going up against Watkins there on that offensive take. And they'll get off the glass for two. It's pretty much automatic once she is one and one in the paint with someone else. And she proved it right there as Nicole Nesbitt in the corner. Able to pass out of it to Gemma Rigby. Finds Zornick. Open look for three. Knocks it home. Gauchos now within three, 68 to 65. Two minutes, 55 seconds remain in this game. Suramoto goes up to Spinazzi. They go right to Kelly Meggs. Gauchos defending the perimeter very closely. But here is one from Suramoto. Hits off the lip of the rim. It's hit out of bounds, and it's going to be UC Irvine ball. A timeout is called on the floor. This will be the last. The refs. Did look at a replay, and to my mistake, they weren't looking at whether or not the ball was hit out of bounds by UCSB, but whether or not a Kendra Morrison three-pointer was made at the 520 mark. And yes, it was from the left corner. So now the Gauchos are within two points. It's 68 to 66. The Gauchos are trailing with two minutes, 37 seconds remaining. Aguilar will look to pass this in right in front of her own bench. They'll have a 30-second shot clock to work with with 2.37 remaining. Irvine will find Suramoto on the right side. Has it at the top of the arc, guarded by Melissa Zornig. They'll feed it to Camille Buckley on a turnaround look. Puts this one up off the glass for two, and she was fouled down low. So she is gonna be officially fouled by Kendra Morrison. That is gonna be personal foul number three. And now another three-point play for Buckley coming up. Buckley will now be taking her 12th look from the free throw line, and it will rattle on home. She is now 9 of 12 in tonight's game, so 75% about the season average for her. And the Gauchos are now a, down by four points. There's Nicole Nesbitt. Rattles home a two. Right elbow shot will fall for her. Gauchos are now down by three points, 71 to 68. Irvine on offense with 2.05 left. Suramoto on the drive, uses some glass and makes it fall for two. 73 to 68. The Gauchos now down five. One minute, 56 seconds left. Don't have to hit the panic button and start putting up threes. Nicole Nesbitt swings it out right to Zornick. Zornick up top to Nesbitt, swings it left to Gemma Rigby. Thought about driving, sets back. Now it's Nesbitt, holds up two fingers, calling out a play with 10 seconds to shoot. Nesbitt gets that pick from Claire Watkins up the right side, uses some glass, no good, but there is Morrison on the offensive board, can't get the reverse layup to go, she'll get the loose ball again, they'll find Zornick who gets the defender to jump, they'll kick it out to Morrison for a long two, no good, but Nesbitt is there for the offensive rebound. The second effort as she was falling to the floor hits the bottom part of the backboard, and that one officially was rebounded by UC Irvine. Camille Buckley there, a minute 12 seconds left, and the Gauchos down five. They're looking for a huge defensive stop here. As they approach the one-minute mark, the Gauchos, surely enough, will start fouling, probably after this offensive possession for the Anteaters. Buckley from the left block, goes up against Watkins, goes underneath her, misses! Watkins, unable to get the rebound, it's swatted out of bounds by Buckley, and now the Gauchos will get the ball with 50.3 seconds left. It's a five-point game, 73-68. to and tempers have been flaring from UC Irvine's bench all game long. Down by five points. UC Irvine, no backcourt press here. They'll get set up in their half-court defense. Gemma Rigby will get the ball. Works over to the right side. Swings it up top to Zorni. Fires a three. Up and in! 
The Gauchos now within two. Off the pass, Zornig didn't think twice. Knocked down. Nicole Nesbitt joining Mason along with Melissa Zornig and Claire Watkins well with Aname Jemarigby. 40.6 seconds left. The Gauchos now within two points as Nicole Nesbitt will be called for the foul as Kelly Meggs was looking to get a pass over on the foul line. So that is going to be foul number nine for UC Santa Barbara. UC Irvine will have Kelly Meggs go to the line to shoot a one and one. This is her first trip to the charity strike tonight. As Methlin Anogamuho will come in for Vanessa Aguilar. Aguilar has put up some great numbers today for UC Irvine. High productivity out of her coming off the bench in both halves. So now here's Kelly Meggs, a one and one. Gets the first one to fall, and she puts her team up by three points. The next one, here is Kelly Meggs again. This one up and in. Now a two-possession lead for UC Irvine as the Gauchos will come in to the game. But wait, there's a whistle blown on the play. I'm not sure what is happening here. Timeout, clearly he didn't. And now we'll get back into play. 39 seconds, sticking away. Gaucho's down for it. 75 to 71. And now Nicole Nesbitt will call a timeout once she gets to the other side of the near their bench. They need a three at some point. 34 seconds, sticking away. They get it over to Nicole Nesbitt. Gets a screen from Watkins. A long two. This one goes home. 75 to 73. And the Gauchos are now within three. Most recently. And that long two are near 11 boards on that one. So now 75-73 is the score. Gaucho's in a full court press. And Spinazzi is forced to call a timeout there. Good job by the Gauchos to force that timeout for UC Irvine. They'll have two remaining. They also picked up an overtime win over UC Davis, 79-73. So Irvine is used to this situation where the Gauchos are really brand new to this. Camille Buckley down low. She is finally fouled by Jasmine Ware as two defenders were around her. Nicole Nesbitt was also there as she was the recipient of a hard swing by on this trip to the foul line. So far tonight, she has gone 9 of 12. Pretty good clip for her. She makes the first one, nothing but net. Timeout called by Doug Oliver. I hope you folks, who knows, this could be the game-winning basket for Irvine. So a lot rides on this foul shot. UCSB will be returning to the floor with Kendra Morrison, Aname Jemarigby, Claire Watkins, Melissa Zornick, all at the key, and Nicole Nesbitt is in the backcourt. The next foul shot, up and in. Big time basket made by a big time player. 77-73, Gauchos trailing by four with 22 seconds left. Jemarigby from the right wing, they need a three-pointer quick. There's Nesbitt, pulls up for three from the left wing, hits the back iron, and it's rebounded by Anogamuho. The Gauchos are forced to foul, and that will send Bethlen Anogamuho to the line to shoot two. That will be against Claire Watkins officially. That's her third, so she won't be fouling out. Anogamuho, with her first visit to the charity strike tonight, has gone 67% on the season from the foul line. Again, a guaranteed two for her. The first one misses off the back rim. 77 to 73 is still your score. The Gauchos really hoping for another miss because uh, another make could put them just out of reach. Christine Brantz will come in for Claire Watkins. The Gauchos now have three three-point shooters on the floor with Christine Brantz joining Zornig and Nesbitt. The first one, the second one misses again to the Gauchos. Down by four points. They swing it left with six seconds to shoot. There is Nesbitt on the drive off the glass. No good. Buckley gets the offensive rebound, and she is fouled with 2.6 seconds remaining. And that will just about do it. No matter what Buckley does here, 2.0 seconds is not going to be enough for the Gauchos to overcome a four-point lead with zero timeouts left. So now here is Buckley again at the foul line as she'll ceremoniously play us out. First one will miss. 77 to 73 is still the score. Again, you go with what the defense gives you. So that time you may be asking yourself, why didn't the Gauchos shoot a three? 
Zornig now from midcourt will not take a three. She will just dribble this one out as they lose a tough one of 77 to 74.